Hi, this is Rob from Rant and Rave, and I decided to do another rant. Now, this rant is basically about religion. Now, basically, I was, I grew up, I was raised Catholic. Well, my mother raised me Catholic, at least she tried to raise me Catholic, and, you know, honestly, I thought church is boring. And, um, I was supposed to believe in God and Jesus and all that jazz. Now, just recently, I um, I was in a relationship with a woman that was Christian, and she tried to get me into her religion, which I actually sincerely tried to get into. But, you know, the fact of the matter is, is, you know, I didn't agree with everything she said about the Bible, and I agree, I disagree with her even more about it to, even now. But basically, what I'm saying is this, okay? Is that I started reading the Bible, and it's full of contradictions. Um, one contradiction is the fact that, um, that God made, God made man on the sixth day. Okay, God created the earth and heavens and made man on the sixth day. Well, if that was the case, then where did dinosaurs come from? Like, seriously, where did dinosaurs come from? Because dinosaurs have been around, like, been around for like 60, were around for 65 million years ago. They were around. This is long before, you know, man was even thought of. Now, basically, it's common knowledge that man did not coexist with dinosaurs. It just did not happen, okay? It just did not happen. Man would have been eaten, man would have been stepped on. It would have been, it would have been just not even, you know, in the, in the cards for man be, to coexist with dinosaurs. But, uh, you know, I also... You know, the Bible is full of fictitious stories, too, such as, you know, a talking snake with Adam and Eve, you know, a talking snake, and, you know, a boy living in a whale. These are just ludicrous stories that, you know, that cannot be backed up by science. And my argument against religion in the Bible is none of these things can be backed up by science. It's all, it's all, to me, the, the Bible is full, the Bible is basically fairy tales. You know, the Bible is designed to get you to live, you know, by God's word, which, I'm sorry, but, there, you know, there might not even be a God. So, but I'm going to give you guys some reasons why the Bible is basically wrong, okay? Um, the Bible is full of contradictions. A contradiction is what happens when two or more statements are incompatible. The Bible is full of contradictions. And they begin in the opening chapter of Genesis where they find two creation stories that contradict each other. In the order of alleged creations as well as the things, as well as the way things are created. Okay? Um, doublets. A doublet is a biblical term in the repetition of storylines. Wherein the character on emphasis is different, em examples of these doublets include the, the two creation stories. The two, set of the two set of commandments and possibly a third and three patriarchs pr prostituting their wives out in the census of the Israelites under David. In fact, I don't think there is one story in the Bible that does not have a different version. Such things call, call into question the authenticity of these stories as well as their origins. Okay. No, it's like I said earlier, the Bible exaggerates, okay? The Bible simply cannot tell a story. It exaggerates to the point of being absurd. For example, it described a flood that, that is su such great in magnitude that the highest land-based mountains are submerged. While there is evidence that flooding occurred in the area, there is absolutely no evidence of, for a flood of this size. Okay? The Bible's, the biblical world, the, the biblical world, the Bible, the Bible describes the earth as, as it is a dome covered flat and stationary island like surface. That is the center of the universe in which is, is magically suspended. That is flatly false. The earth is a slightly oval shaped planet that rotates on its axis and orbit and satellite we call the moon. Okay. The Earth also orbits the Sun, which is a, which is the center of our galaxy, with eight other such objects in their respective satellites. 
Our galaxy is, is but one of many of the universe, and like all the others, it is continuous motion. Now, here's the biggest one of all that I totally agree with. It's called science. The Bible is at odds with the actual history of, of its times, and often tells stories upon where there is no evidence to support. The greatest of these alleged, ex, alleged exodus is out of Egypt. It didn't happen. The same app, the same applies to the story of Esther. It, re, it re, 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 routinely goes into the history of surrounding civilizations wrong, such as crediting the Darius of the Mede and taking the, and the taking of Babylon when it was Cyrus of Persia. Cruelty. The Bible is full of cruelty. In some form or another, from the execution of rape victims to genocide slaughter of non-Israelites. There isn't much in abject violence that is not condoned, even demanded by the biblical authors. Of all ethical problems in the Bible, it is Christianity itself that points out the biggest injustice, where while it's damning our entire species due to a specific act and two individuals. No rational group or individual concerned with justice punishes the innocent for the crimes, real or imagined, of the guilty. The biblical God consistently breaks the simple idea and routinely punishes the innocent for alleged sins of others to such a degree that the entire religion has just been built up around the idea of punishing the innocent in place of the guilty. Anonymous Authors No one knows who wrote the bulk of the text that makes up the Bible. And most of the names that were given from tradition. This applies to the Old Testament, the New Testament. We also do not know that they are written only to make the best guesses regarding their origins. You'll get seven different, several different, seven different opinions of biblical authorship. For every Moses didn't, for, for every Moses didn't write this, is of course not. Aaron did, and you're both wrong. Jacob did, and of course, not all three of you are wrong. Moses wrote it, and, and round and round we go. Magic. The Bible promotes a view that is completely at odds on how we understand the universe and how all things in it. Polite people call the, the, that view supernatural in origin. I call it plain old magic. Magic in the Bible includes a talking snake, a talking donkey, a tree that makes you smart, a tree that makes you immune to death, food falling from, food falling from the skies, rods turning into snakes, water turning into blood, water coming out of rock, people rising from the dead, the sun standing still, witches resurrecting the dead, non-corporeal finger, finger writings on the wall. People taking three days rides in the stomach of a whale, virgins giving birth and countless angels and demons inserting themselves into the affairs here on earth. Accordingly, this view promotes the idea that reality can, can be suspended at any moment without warning and makes dealing with, with such reality nearly impossible. The Bible is not unique. It is claiming to be the word of God, and in fact, it's just one of many works. Other such works include, but not limited to the Quran, Egyptian Book of the Dead, with spells and rules concerning the afterlife of, of ancient Egyptians, Vedas, Hindu, Bagrav Gita, I can't pronounce that, Hindu, Tantras, Buddhism, Purvis, Jainism, Tripitaka, which is apparently Chinese, Tai Ching Ching, which is Buddhism, Book of Mormon, and Dianetics. The Bible itself can be found in various versions with Jews having their version, Catholics having theirs, and Protestants yet having an yet another. There are dozens. It does not it is not more different it, it's not more different translations in English alone with various specialized versions of women, children, people of color. 
There are other reasons, such as the bizarre, dangerous, and violent behavior of, of Bible believers against themselves as well as the others. Bible verses are routinely used as reasons of assaulting children, withholding medical care, physical mutilation, xenophobic tendencies, denial of pleasure, and many other things. In conclusion, the Bible has played a dreadful role in history. It is full of errors, contradictions, and absurdities. The, the problem... It, we have, we have, I will call them have been in spite of not because of the Bible, it's because of the application of reason and science that we have overcome these things it has, it has not condoned, even demanded, pretending otherwise it's just plain silly. Now, what I just read off to you guys is the 10 reasons why the Bible is not real. So I really hope you, you pay attention to this video and wake up and smell the coffee and realize, you know, that these are all fairy tales, all right? So, uh, if I piss anybody off, oh well, get over it. This is Rob from Rant and Rave. Peace out.